Well, hey guys, how you doing today? Happy Sunday. Um, so the Lord started giving me a message. Well, first he had me like do a long message of um, the prophecies from April 1st through the 14th. I think I lifted up or the 13th. I couldn't find the 14th. I didn't have it with me. So I did it from like April 1st through April 13th. Um, so I posted that on YouTube. If you're, if you're on YouTube, it's uh seek heavenly things. Um, and uh, I claim that Jesus Christ is the son of God. And he came to the earth in the flesh as a man to save us from our sins. He died on the cross and he bled on the cross and he rose on the third day. Um, okay guys. So I don't know when all this stuff happens, you know, how, how Jesus has been working with me. A lot has come true just this week. Um, but sometimes his prophecies take, it started December 30th and there's some things that he told me in January that's now coming true. So it, it can take a couple months. So I don't want anyone to freak out. You know, if, if you are like under Jesus, you know, he said, no matter where you are, no hair will be lost. Okay. It's really the unbelievers that should have something to worry about because, you know, you're subject to his wrath. Um, and I just pray, I pray for all the um, unbelievers out there. I pray for people who do not know Jesus. You know, he is the only God that died for you, that would die for you. Um, and he did, guys. You know, I, I just watched, we just had church with the family and at our house and since I don't have a church anymore um and we watched a little clip of you know uh, I can't remember the movie but it was it was about Jesus and his resurrection and stuff and it wasn't like the passion of Christ but it was you know it just it showed not as bad as the passion of Christ but it showed you know a lot and just what he took away for us guys what what he did how much he suffered for us it just breaks my heart that that people still reject him and anyway, so, um, he's put a strong urgency for me to get this out. Let me, he's actually, my hand is like kind of shaking right now. So let me just pray for a minute, Lord. I pray that every word that I speak is of you, Jesus, and that you just wake your children up. We know you're coming soon. We don't know the time or the day or the hour, but we know that you're coming soon. Okay, guys, so ignore the telegram in the, um, in Jesus' name, I pray. Ignore the telegram in the um, WhatsApp people because they're trying to scam you. Okay, so April 15th, 2023 is when I received this. Um, he finished it up this morning. Okay, uh, Hebrews 9.5. And above it were the cherubim of glory overshadowing the mercy seat. Of these things we cannot now speak in detail. Micah 7, 6. For son dishonors father, daughter rises against her mother, daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemies are the men of his own household. Jude 1, 5. But I want to remind you, though you once knew this, that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed those who did not believe. Philippians 2, 4. Let each of you look out not only for his own interests, but also for the interests of others. My child, and here's the message, my child, wake them up, wake them up. I'm coming. Bombs are going to drop. Minnesota, New Hampshire, Texas, Rhode Island, Florida, Georgia, South Carolina. Heed these warnings. I'm coming. Guys, I'm in South Carolina, so um, doesn't matter where you are, you know, he'll protect his, his, his elect. I told you drones were coming. I told you they would attack the farms. Oil is next. So I don't know if those places are, they're going to hit the farms in those places. I'm not sure. It kind of sounds like it. They want to get rid of production. They want you to rely on them to feed you, to give you clean air. Famine and pestilence is coming and wages will triple. Once they take the oil out, diesel will be gone. Truckers won't be able to get it. It's part of their plan. It's all set in motion. I am with you. Perfect love cast out all fear. No hair will be lost. I will protect my chosen ones. When the nukes go up, you go up. Confess your sins to me. Come to me with all your heart and I will save you. There is no condemnation in me, your Savior. I am the truth, the way, the life, and no one can come to the Father except through me. I know how many of you have fallen away and how you used to love me. I still love you. Come back to me. I'm calling you home. I stretch my arms far and wide, and they are open to you. I will never leave my chosen ones. I am your Adonai, your Redeemer, and I have spoken. 
Romans 1.11, For I long to see you that I may impart to you some spiritual gifts so that you may be established. Psalm 5.8, Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before my face. 1 Corinthians 3.6, I planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the increase. Peter 4, 9. Be hospitable to one another without grumbling. Luke 8, 5. A sower went out to sow his seed, and as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and it was trampled down, and the birds of the air devoured it. John 6, 2. Then a great multitude followed him because they saw his signs, which he performed on those who were diseased. Jeremiah 14, 8. Oh, the hope of Israel, his savior in time of trouble. Why should you be like a stranger in the land and like a traveler who turns aside to tarry for a night? Colossians 1, 6, which has come to you as it has also in the world and is bringing forth fruit as it is also among you since the day you heard and knew the grace of God and truth. Don't deny me, child. I am calling you home. The trumpets will sound. Please heed these warnings. I love you, your Abba. Revelation 21, 3, and I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, behold, the tabernacle of God is with men and he will dwell with them and they shall be his people. God himself will be with them and be their God. Job 19, 8, he has fenced up my way so they cannot pass and he has set darkness in my paths. Daniel 2.11, it is a difficult thing that the king requests and there is no other who can tell it to the king except the gods whose dwelling is not with flesh. Okay, guys, that was the message. And just a reminder, you know, he's speaking to three different people in all of his messages, believers, unbelievers, and the Jews in every message. Um, so uh, let's just take a minute to uh, worship Jesus and uh, sing along with me. I'm going to sing a song. Uh, lead me to the cross because that's where we need to be because Jesus is amazing. He has um, a wonderful personality. I mean, he has such a sense of humor. There's so many things that he just does. And if you have that relationship with him, you'll know it because he's awesome. Okay. Savior, I come, I quiet my soul. I remember, yeah, yeah, redemption's here, for your blood was spilled for my ransom, and everything I once felt dear, I count it all as lost. Lead me to the cross where your love poured out. Bring me to my knees, Lord, I lay me down. Rid me of myself, I belong to you. Oh, lead me, lead me to the cross. Guys, when you're under Jesus, you are saved. He will save you. It is your faith, childlike faith and belief in him. And it is his grace and he will save you. So thank you for worshiping with me um, for a minute with Jesus. And um, guys, if you don't know him, ask him to come into your life. Repent from your sins. Repentance is a change of mind. Okay, you guys, and don't worry, okay, because I don't know if this stuff's going to happen before the rapture or after the rapture, but I do know he's picking up his bride. I believe that 100%. He's given me so many messages, and I know in my heart it's from him. Okay, guys, have a blessed day.